Thanks for making the trip up to Northern California. I don't know if you like this part of the country as much as I do, but this is a real treat for us coming from 95 degrees and high humidity in Nashville out here. This is pretty special. So um, we're excited uh, for this event for that and many other reasons. Um, really, the, the most important reason that we're excited for this event uh, this year is because, as you know, uh, the industry has been moving from cars to trucks for several years now. And in fact, now many of them, six in 10 vehicles in the US are, are trucks. And it really aligns well with what we've been planning. If we could go to the next slide, please. Because this really is, from a, a product and marketing perspective, this is Nissan's year of the truck. It started back in actually late December of last year when we launched the Murano, um, the all new Murano. And it continues through this year. We have the Pathfinder, which we revealed a couple of weeks ago, and we're gonna give you a chance to drive tomorrow. Uh, we have the Armada and the Titan, obviously the half-ton Titan, which is our high-volume Titan. We're going to you'll see all of those today, which is why this event is so important. We also have some future announcements coming in the, uh, in the near term. Some new SUVs, crossovers, and the full Titan lineup reveal that's coming. So by the end of this year, we will have revamped 85% of our truck volume. Over 500,000 units of volume is what that represents. So we feel like uh, our product cadence, our marketing cadence, lines up very well with what the market, with what the market is doing, what consumers uh, are demanding. You can see how, from a, from an Armada perspective, which is what we're talking about in this room, you can see uh, this is our, our lineup as it stands today, and how this is sort of how we segment it in our own minds and how we go to market. We have two sets of crossovers and SUVs. One set that is more family oriented and another set that is uh, for uh, more individualistic, if you will, uh, with Murano at the bottom and, and future products to come. And at the top, we have Rogue, which has been a nameplate that's among the fastest growing nameplates in the industry, Pathfinder, which we're revamping today, and then, of course, the all-new Armada that, uh, that we're talking about uh, this morning. So if we can go to the next slide, please. So just switching to our model, let's talk a bit more about that. Um, I get the question a lot, is this really a viable segment? Um, and the answer is that it absolutely is. Uh, there are customers who, who need a full-size SUV for their lifestyle. They may tow or haul or have big families. There's also a, a set of people who have high disposable income who simply want a large vehicle. They want the presence. They want the, the safety that comes with that size. There are 250,000 of these vehicles sold annually. And while the size of the segment does increase and decrease um, uh, as a result of fuel prices to a degree, it's not as um, connected to fuel prices as you might think because of the disposable income that these customers have and the fact that um, they're not willing to necessarily compromise on their vehicle regardless of cost of operation. So, this has been, and, and we expect will remain a viable segment uh, in, the, in the future. So that's why we are so excited to bring this new Armada uh, to market that Robin's going to tell you more about. To give you an, a little bit more of a sense for, for the segment, this breaks down who's buying full-size SUVs. 57% of full-size SUV buyers are new to segment. 43% are, are buying you know, their second, third, fourth uh, uh, product and, and this tends to be a very loyal segment. Once they're in this segment, they frequently stay in this segment. Again, largely because of need, um, they're not willing to switch out. And they're also pretty loyal to nameplates. So that 57% is what we're viewing as, as probably the most fertile ground in terms of who we're going to target uh, with the new Armada. Having said that, there hasn't been a product like this new Armada in the segment in some time and we do think that uh, we'll be able to attract some of these loyal uh, full-size uh, uh, SUV owners. And if you look at the Armada profile, this is a little bit of an eye chart on the bottom right. What you can see is that 80% of Armada volume comes new to segment. So we are already predisposed, our dealers are predisposed, the brand is predisposed to attracting new to segment customers. So we feel like we're in a really, a very good position. The product is light years ahead of the, of the Armada that is outgoing. Uh, we're all ready. We have a, a strong marketing plan in place. 
the dealers understand about conquesting, they're excited about the new product. So we feel like when we get this product in market in, uh, in just a month or so, uh, we've really got the opportunity to bring a lot of new customers into Nissan showrooms, which is why we're so excited about it. Thank <laughs> you.